three, two, one, go! How's it going everyone? It's Tommy from Coaching 101. Just finished up with first session with a good old friend Dan from football and school, Danny Lloyd. He's a professional footballer who plays for Salford and just wants to work on improving his speed and acceleration. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel for all things trainer, coaching. Um, uh, make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy the content. Leave a comment if you want to see more videos similar to this one and also the sprint videos. To get the session started, we first move through a little bit of a dynamic warm-up. That included things like toe walks, heel walks, outside of the heel walks, just to bulletproof the ankles a little more from all the force we're going to be putting into the ground. We then moved on to things like uh, hip flexor stretch, um, outside of the hip stretch, keeping it dynamic, so walking as whilst we're doing it. Uh, single leg deadlifts, reverse lunge into hamstring slide, and just things like that, preparing the body a little bit better and all the tissue before we get into the main session. We then moved straight into the session and jumped into some wall drills just to improve um, the position for acceleration. So as you'll see in the video with the wall drill, we're looking for that straight line um, angle from the head all the way down to the low back and the hips. We do want that torso lean to be there and the torso to be ahead of the hips, especially for that uh, acceleration phase. Um, because what we're doing is we're aiming to drive uh, the force back into the ground rather than straight ahead. Um, acceleration is definitely important in football. And it's not very often that you're going to reach full top speed, like a 100 meter track and field. But you're always going to be accelerating, whether that's going to be quick change of direction to the left or right, even backpedaling, um, short burst of acceleration to maybe retrieve the ball um, from the opposing players or to get past um, the defence when the team is on attack. Bring this leg up, get to the top of it. I want you to be on the ball with the feet, because that's where you can use your force. If you put your heel down on the sprint, you yeah. probably slow yourself down to most of the time. The sprinters are going to spend a lot of time on this pad. So that left leg is going to be on the toe, be arranged. This right foot is going to bring your knee towards the chest. In that position. Now see where you've got a little bit of a curve there, and your head down like that. You want to be here instead. Big one, when we go through these drills, you're always going to keep it tall, pull it through the shin, and then we're going to be like that. If you do that, you can push it through the ball. Hold that position, that's more than 10. And then keep driving the knee, driving the toe through the ball. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's whole point towards your shin, push down. Three, four, five. So you switch, you change. Yep. Switch, 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 keep that angle. Switch, 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 switch. Switch, switch, pass it off the floor, switch, there you go, switch, switch, oh, there's Russian going to more, two more, switch, switch, better, and relax. You ready? Switch, better with the angle, keep your head up, switch, 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 switch. 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 Simple progression with the wall drill. We went from a static hold just to make sure all the positions were in the right place, like toe lifted towards the shin, and that 45 degree approximate angle of the body, and the knee and the torso not sort of closing and rounding off. Um, make sure that's good. We then moved into a little bit more dynamic. So we went for the scoop switches, then we went into alternating single switches. Then we moved into double switches and then finally finished on triple switches. 
with the aim of teaching to put that force into the ground and everyone and driving the 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 feet and the uh, balls of the feet sorry back into the ground which is what we're going to get when we're moving through acceleration we then move from outside of shelter and into the rain and it's pretty heavy but we just got on with the session and um, we were a little bit aware of obviously the wet floor so took procedures and um, nothing too crazy we started off with some plyometric progressions look at these done knees um, pretty much a lot in uh, up at Salford so we knew a lot about the, the stick and the landing so we just Went through a little bit of technique, explained why this is important due to the elastic force being developed, which is similar to sprinting, being able to react to that ground and produce sort of um, that rapid muscle contraction. So we went through stick landings where we jumped over the small and the larger hurdles and held the position just to make sure everything was okay to then progress. We then moved to a little bit of a longer con uh, ground contact jump. <laughs> ground contact jump we went into a, a double tap just to get used to that little bit of a reactive element to the floor and we used the cue of imagine the floor was a little bit like a trampoline so you got to push straight off it and just to create that elasticity um, in the muscles when we react into the ground and then the final movement was similar to um, like pogo jumps and depth drops that type of stuff where you're reacting to the floor and trying to stay as stiff as possible in the hip, knee and ankle. part of the session was a little bit of a test um, again the weather went the best so we just sort of reacted the best way we could I thought a short burst or short effort test might be a little bit better in this weather and um, we haven't got a track available the grass would have been a little bit too wet we may do this in the future because it's a little bit more specific to the sport of football so we done three efforts a 10 yard dash or 10 yard sprint Again, acceleration is pretty short in that sense, so we just test the short distance. Um, we took an average of them three, and we'll use them in the future just to look back on, and possibly retest just to see if we improved. Um, it's just good data to have. Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! The longest of videos today, but I'd thought I would capture a little snippet of what we went through and um, just when we're working with a, a football player and um, looking to improve acceleration. So hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. 
I'll catch you in the next one.